boys and girls, and welcome to Rosalie and Friends. You gonna say hello, Rosalie? Rosalie? Uh -huh. Um, are you gonna say hello? Um, in a minute. Uh, what are you looking at? Nothing in particular. Would you like a hand? Yeah, I'm kind of can't get forward. Okay, how about I pull you forward? Okay. Grab your backpack. Oh no, that's too far. I guess it is too far. Can I help you take it off? Yes, please. Okay, here, put your arm through here. And your other arm. Oh dear. Oh, that's better. Hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're here. I was packing my backpack. Yeah, I see you packed your backpack. Why? Because Mom and Dad and JJ and I are going on a hike. Oh, and you decided to take your backpack. Well, Dad told us we had to take our lunch and a drink. Oh, because you're going to stop somewhere and have your lunch. That's right. So I brought everything I'm ever going to need. Oh, well, that's a very heavy lunch. It is. Can I see what's in your lunch? Well, you can see what's in my bag, sure. Okay. I'll look and uh, oh, let me see. We have a great big book. No, oh, I love to read. Yes, that's the great dinosaur mystery. Oh, yeah, I love dinosaurs. Yes. Uh, why do you need a book? Well, if we stop somewhere and I have all kinds of time on my hands, I like to read. Okay, well, what else do we have in here? We have a blanket. No, that's in case I get cold. You're planning on getting cold? Well, I don't know. Okay, and we have a rubber boot. Oh, that's in case it rains. Rubber boots. Why don't you just wear the rubber boots? Well, my feet would get hot and I can't wear hot feet on a hike. Well, I suppose you can't have hot feet on a hike, yep. And there's a flashlight. You're going during the daytime. I know, but what if, what if it gets dark all of a sudden? I need to be able to see. Okay, and a hair dryer. Yep, a hair dryer. I don't like wet hair. Your hair's not wet. But if it rains, it'll get wet. Rosalie, what are you going to plug your hair dryer into? Um, well, I never thought of that. Maybe I don't need a hair dryer. No, I don't think you do. That's it? Let me see. You got a ball in there? Oh, that's for JJ and I to toss around. Rosalie, there's something missing. A what? I thought you were packing your lunch. Oh no, I forget my sandwich and my bottle of water. I'm gonna have to repack everything. Well, that's okay, I can help you. Oh good. But Rosalie, I don't think you need all these things. I think you're kind of worried that you're gonna have bad weather. It's gonna be too cold, or it's gonna rain, or your hair's gonna get wet, or you're gonna have nothing to do when you're sitting down. I know, I kind of worry about a lot of things. Yes, I think you do. Weather is one of them. What else do you worry about? Well, I kind of worry about if I'm going to see my friends again and my cousins and grandma and grandpa. Yeah. And when I'm going to go to school again and even church. I miss church. Yes, I know. We miss all those things, don't we? And I kind of worry about them. Well, you know, God knew that we were going to worry about things. He did? Yes, because he said in his word, in 1 Peter 5, verse 7, he tells us to cast all our cares on him. What does it mean to cast? Well, that means to give all our cares over to Jesus. To talk to God about everything that's bothering us. All the things we're concerned about or worried about. And why are we supposed to do that? Because he cares for us. That's the end of the verse. Cast all your cares on him 
for he cares for you. Oh, well, I guess I can talk to God about those things. Yes, and you know, when we talk to God about those things, it gives us peace because then we know that God is in control and he's going to make everything come out good according to his plan. See, he's in control of everything. And we don't have to worry when everything's in God's hands because he cares for us. So how about I sing the verse and then you repeat it after me. Okay. All right. Casting all your cares on him, for he cares for you. Casting all your cares on him, for he cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. Oh, that's easy. It is? Okay, you try it. All right. Casting all your cares on him, for he cares for you. Casting all your cares on him, for he cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. Okay. Good. And I think on Friday we're going to have a special visitor with our story time, aren't we? Oh yeah, we are. And who's our special visitor? It's going to be Nepo the Moose. That's right. So we'll see you on Friday, boys and girls. See you, boys and girls. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Rosalie and Friends. And today in our craft time, we are going to make a bird birdhouse and out of a milk carton. And the items you're going to need to do this is you're going to need your own milk carton that's all cleaned out and dried out. You're going to need some white paint and some brown paint and a paintbrush, a marker and a pen or a pencil and scissors. And you're going to need mom and dad's help for this part. You're going to have to have a knife and an X-Acto knife, a ruler, and we've got some caps, bottle caps that we're going to use for the eyes, string to put on the top, and you're going to need a piece of cardboard and some fun foam, or you could just take a piece of cardboard and color it orange or yellow, and some bird seed, and of course some white glue. Okay, let's begin. Okay, boys and girls, so we're about to begin. So you're going to take your milk carton and some white paint and your paintbrush, and you're going to start painting it. Now you're going to cover it. I've got a little bit of brown mixed in with it, but that doesn't really matter because when you're done, it's gonna look like this. That's one coat of paint. And after it's painted the top and the sides, you don't have to paint the bottom, then you're going to paint on brown. And I just started to paint some brown here. So you're gonna paint the brown all the way up the side and you're gonna go into these crevices in here. In the crevices and even the tops all of it until when you're done it's gonna look like this painted on all sides of the tops so what you're gonna need is you're gonna have to put a face on your bird and some wings on your bird so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out a cardboard an opening like a door so what I did is I took a piece of cardboard and I just traced what I thought would be the size of a door and then I cut it out which this is this here and then I took it and put it on the front here but you can't go down too low or you won't be able to keep your bird seed inside. So you got to leave a little lip 
and then you just trace around it. You can even do this with a marker if you wanted to. And when you get that done, then you get your parents to help you and they can take an X-Acto knife. And they're gonna go around that section. the knife is so sharp it's best to have an adult or a teenager helping you there you go then you have a door so now what you can do is you can take another piece and I traced a wing so all I did is I took the side of my box and I cut a piece of cardboard that I thought would be the size of a wing because he needs two wings, one on each side. So this is our sparrow from our story. So then you just cut that piece of wing out and then you trace around it. Now you're not going to cut across the top, just this part. So then you have somebody help you with the X-Acto knife. bend it out a little bit. So there's one of the flaps. Now you're going to need some eyes. So what we did was we chose some bottle caps. You can take bottle caps from whatever juice container. I think these ones for Gatorade. Whatever colors you want. And then the ones that go in the middle on this one I used gray, but on this one I'm going to use white. Then I took a black marker and I made a little dot on each of them. And then I just put blue in here in a circle and stuck that in. And it takes a little while to dry, but it will dry. And then you have your eyes. And then for the beak, I just took a pin and I made what looks like a, almost like a triangle. And I cut it out. I guess I gotta straighten it up a little bit. And then you take some glue and you're going to glue it into place. There's his beak. Now all he needs is he needs a couple holes in the top. And this is where I used the knife. And you can use your, get your parents to help you. So I poked a couple holes in the top. Once we had some holes in it, then I take the string and push it down through and down through the other side. And you want it long enough to hang it from a tree. So what I did, this one just fell out. was I tied it off here, part way up. And then you tie the top part to your tree branch. Now you'll have to do the other side here. But when you're all done, whoops. <laughs> when you're all done and he's all dried like this, you can stand him up and you can put some bird seed inside. And hang it on your tree, and your birds can come eat. 
And that is our craft to go with our verse, casting all your care on him for he cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. I hope you have fun, boys and girls. Enjoy making your craft.